Morning all. Okay, let's have a five minute game this morning. Um, okay. So it's the end of, nearly the end of the club season. I think I might have only one over the board game left. It's been an interesting, uh, season in the three different, uh, leagues I've been playing in. Um, uh, good news, uh, for the Hearts League. I mean, we came third in a very strong Division One. North Circular, we won actually the North Circular League. Uh, but the Middlesex, the bit of disappointment there, we got relegated to Division 2 now in the Middlesex League. And I didn't really help the team in that league particularly. So, uh, yeah. But uh, over this, like summer, maybe I'm going to play more. Um, by the way, there's avatars in this new version. It's called Mug Shots on the ACC. So maybe I can use this to scare my opponents <laughs> into submission. Uh, so, uh I don't know. I just thought this was annoying. This is purposely annoying to leave it like that uh, for you to to get a you know replacement for that. So Groundhog Day. It's that funny um, Bill Murray thing, I guess. Groundhog Day. So I'm going to gambit here. I know it's taken with one go, so that looks a pretty silly thing to do. Uh, Okay, so have I got anything? Maybe C four doesn't do anything. Queen A five doesn't do anything. Bishop A six doesn't do anything. But I'll do I'll do Bishop A six anyway. Maybe actually maybe Knight C four um, coming up uh, if he takes. So is was that really? Um, yeah, I think I've got a potentially pleasant uh, position uh, here because of Knight C four and this pressure. Over here, so I'll put more pressure on that queen side. Um, if f4, knight g4, I guess. Uh, okay, rook b4, rook a3, rook a3, knight a4. I'm gonna get my things trapped. Can I just, I don't know, h5. I, you know, rook a, I don't know, has a potential target at some point. Mind you, a4, knight, b5. Just to stop a4, knight, b5, that would have been useful. Rook a3, probably. Although knight a4, kind of trapping the rook over there. Uh, rook b4 there. Queen b2, rook a4. I don't know, I think that would be tricky after rook a3, knight a4, rook b4. Rook queen c1. Queen C1, just to hit the rook on A3. So I think this A4, yeah, it's a good plan, probably. Okay, let's reinforce this guy. Oh, okay, so I don't know, the intention is F4. So can I just play Knight B6 or something? Knight B6 would stop Knight A4. No, it wouldn't stop anything. All right, I got this nice bishop over here. Now he's going for this this killer plan, I guess. All right, if I leave the rook on b4, pretend there's I'm going to do an exchange sack. Uh, so I'm playing rook a5 to avoid knight c7 anyway. Uh, well, one advantage of the rook here is that now b4 starts, but on the other hand, he can skewer my rooks. On the other hand, that could be an exchange sack there to get a bishop. Uh, I take some rook a2, whatever that's worth, not much. I could wait for bishop d2 first, then throw that in, then bishop d4. Knight e5, bishop d2. So the rook's kind of trapped. C4, bishop d2, cb, and then rook a4. I think c4 might be a good time for c4. I'll try c4. Because I'm playing a b and rook a4. Because I've got pressure on a4 here. If I can break out the pawns, that might be something significant. I think I'll take this. Keep the A file. 
So I want rook a2. How would I get get something going on g2 here? That's been like I don't really know. How do I get something going on g2? Knight e5. Actually, what about c4? Just knight e5 for c4. That means c5. It's knight c4. I'm attacking e3. Then I take on c5. This might be good. Knight e5 might be good. I'm going to clock advantage here. So I'm wondering, knight e5. <clears throat> Ah, oh, let's put a, put an end to that idea. I think rook on the seventh is sometimes dangerous. In any case, okay. So there's no rook a three. Knight c five. These can swap me in the centre of all these pawns soon. Um, I can't switch the queen in for an attack. H eight, h six, king h, queen h eight. There's nothing there. Knight c five, e five after. Oh, so I'm pretty devoid of counterplay. It looks pretty miserable. Um, right, so get a knight to g3, h4. From knight f6 to g3 could be something. Although h4 is a liability as well. Also, there's knight c7, but there's, know, there's always rook a3 if I move the knight away when I move my queen. If he tries to win this. He could do that. Bishop f6, maybe, to hold h4. That's intriguing. Why can't I just take that? Alright, oh, it's a nice kind of sacrifice, is it? Um, yeah, it could be in trouble. So, knight to f6 here. Or e4 for knight f6. No, no, I'm in big trouble. Queen a6, queen g6, the knight c7, queen d6. Okay, so queen a6 it is. Just hold g6 for a moment. Oh, blimey, 1 minute 50 to 1 minute 36. Getting a bit intense here. If he ever moves this pawn g2 on this diagonal, uh, knight f hmm. Yep. Okay. What about taking and then queen g6? There's rook g5. Rook g5. No, there isn't. I take the queen. So I want to take and queen g6 to be on g2. That's a good way of getting to g2. How did that happen? Get to g2 like this. What a strange route. Okay, so I'm on g2. Okay, he's splintered by pawns. He's got these big pawns here. Um, that is a problem. Rook c2, just to try and get behind the pawns. It looks pretty miserable. Um, rook c1, take rook b5, takes it here, knight c5. There's c6, there's c6, uh, c6 is a problem. Uh, at least I'm behind the pawn. Okay, where do I move the knight after c6? He's getting a bit short on time. What is he doing with the clock? <clears throat> He's giving me a chance, a sporting chance on the clock, if nothing else. Wow. What is this? Alright, it's so a knight f6, just to try and take on d5 to stop, to sack the knight if needed. So if I take and then set the knight, I can't see too many major options here. Check. Got to get rid of these pawns, one way or another. Oh, he's down to 10 seconds. Um, so on bishop f6, try and hold things together, try and connect the pawns back. There's, okay, I'll protect h4 as well. I'm going to attack this bishop from the rook. Oh, he's got bishop h4. He's only got four seconds. I think he's managed his clock quite badly. What is this? Yeah, he's managed his clock quite badly. 
Okay, I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> Obviously, the avatars is, uh, might go in my favour. <laughs> okay, comments or questions on YouTube. Thanks very much.